Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I am here with my review for Blood Water Paint by Joy Macolo. Now this book is based on true events, so I can't really say like spoiler or spoiler free video, but for the purposes of watching this video and then going on to read the book, if you watch this review it will not ruin the book for you. So this novel follows part of the life of Artemisia Gentilici. She was an Italian Baroque painter who was considered one of the most talented painters who lived after the time of Caravaggio. Artemisia grew up in her father's workshop where he allowed her to mix paints for her and eventually it was discovered that she had this fantastic talent for painting and he allowed her to actually do her own work. When Artemisia was only 17 years old, one of her father's co-workers or acquaintances raped her and she went to court about it, even though this was almost unheard of and it certainly wasn't expected that she would win her case. Artemisia, with the blessing of her father, because that's how they had to do it, went to court to get justice. And this book follows that period of her life, so starting from herself as a teenager and we see her developing her skills and talents at painting and then it covers her rape by this man and then her eventual decision to go to court and some of the aftermath of that as well. So I took some notes because I want to get my thoughts across as coherently as possible because I freaking loved this book. I adored this story so much. Artemisia is a person who is going to stick with me, I think, for the rest of my life, and I'm going to try not to get too emotional right at the beginning, but let's get into some of my more objective discussion of this novel. So another thing to know about this book is that it is written almost completely in verse. So it's written in poetry, and I think that when you start reading a book that's written in verse, there's kind of this adjustment period, because I know when I started reading this book, I was like, mm, okay, like, I like the writing, I think it's good, but I feel like this would have been a stronger narrative if it had just been written in prose. But then after about like the first few chapters or pages, I just started flying through this book. I loved it. I really adapted to the writing style. And by the time I was like 50 pages in, I couldn't imagine this book being told in another way. I think that the writing was really beautiful and it didn't feel like the author wrote this in verse just to make it quirky, if that makes sense. Like it felt like this was a very distinct decision on the author's part to tell the story in this way and I really felt like she utilized that to make this a more effective and engaging story. And the writing itself is just gorgeous. There are so many quotations I could have pulled from this book but I don't want to give away all of the best lines so I will just share a couple. This is referring to Artemisia deciding that she wants to paint the story of Susanna and the Elders. Fathers made attempts at Susanna, just like the other painters, men, who think they have the right to tell the story of a woman always watched. And then one more that I actually shared on Twitter. I may not know how to read, but I know how to overhear the stories men tell boys of women's lives. There are just so many moments like that that just really are so powerful and so well written. I think that Joy McCulloch has an amazing talent for distilling those really enormous ideas about gender roles and women and art and power into sentences like that 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 communicate the enormity of the issues while still making them personal and I just I just loved the writing of this book. Artemisia as a main character or as a historical figure really she was fantastic she was so strong and brave and intelligent and talented and her narrative voice is such a strong one like reading this book I really felt like I got to know her as a person and one of the other things I want to mention is that we actually have, like historians have access to the full and complete transcript from Artemisia's trial. And Joy McCullough did that research. So I'm sure she did like build on that information in order to create a full character for this book. But Artemisia definitely feels both like that historical woman who we have all of this evidence about and like a character in her own story. Another thing I loved about this book was how the importance of painting to Artemisia was communicated. I think sometimes when you read books about very talented people, especially when that's a very artistic sense like painting, I think sometimes it's a little difficult to communicate to readers who are not in that area how important this thing is to her. So for example, I am not a painter, but reading this book I really understood how vital this act and this talent was to Artemisia's life. I understood her passion because it was described so well and I understood why this is something that she is willing to fight for. If I can, I'm going to insert a couple of pictures of some of the real Artemisia Gentilici's paintings because their detail is just gorgeous and I really think that looking at some of those can add to the story of this novel.
And then yet another thing I loved about this book is the way that Artemisia's story is interwoven really beautifully with the stories of two other women from history or from religion. So there are two stories in addition to Artemisia's that we get throughout this book. And those are the Old Testament stories of Susanna and the Elders and Judith slaying Holofernes. So the stories are both from the Old Testament and they were very popular painting subjects at that time. And I just love the way that we get those stories but told in a very female focused way that we don't often get because for once these stories of women from the Bible are being told by women and I think that was such a wonderful choice and they were so engaging and those parts of the book were actually the only parts in the whole novel that were told in prose so that were not written in poetry and those stories were beautifully interwoven with Artemisia's decision and work as she painted these women and I think that it was so wonderful to see the way that Artemisia painted these famous stories in a way that it was, was different than all of the other male painters who had done them before. And actually in the real Artemisia Gentilici's body of work, she's noted for the way that she portrays the women in her paintings as real people. When she paints Judith slaying Holofernes, it's bloody and brutal and Judith looks angry. And that was something that, believe it or not, was not very common <laughs> during that time. And it was just so wonderful to see how Artemisia was inspired by these stories of women as she went on her own path to try and get justice for herself. The only thing I didn't absolutely adore about this book is that I wish we could have seen more of the story. Like, I wish the author had continued telling the historical events so that we got to see a particular thing. Because I had actually heard of Artemisia Gentilici a couple of times before reading this book. I didn't know a lot about her, but I did see a feature on her that really drew her to my attention, and that was about the way she used her painting after she was raped. So Artemisia painted Judith slaying Holofernes, this like very kind of famous story that a lot of other painters had done before her. And as the title implies, Judith kills Holofernes. She cuts his throat and Artemisia's painting was notable for being very realistically brutal. And it was also noteworthy because Artemisia actually painted Holofernes with the face of her rapist. So she put him into the painting and she painted herself as Judith. And that just stuck with me. And I really wish we had gotten to see that in this book, like the way that Artemisia uses art, uses her passion and what she loves in order to strike back at this awful thing that happened to her is I just think such an incredible story and I wish that we could have seen that in this book. I do understand why the author ended it where she did. I think it does make sense as an ending but I just love the rest of this book so much that I wish we could have gotten to see that final strike of Artemisia's. I think it would have just been such a wonderful addition to this book. So in case you can't tell by my gushing review, I loved this book. I loved basically everything about it. I loved Artemisia's portrayal. I loved the writing. I loved the focus on women's stories and women's art and how throughout history women have told their own stories in a way that is very different from the accepted version which is often told by men. So I give this five out of five stars. In case you can't tell, this is basically my favorite book of the year at this point, so I highly recommend it. It's very tricky to come up with a universal recommendation, but I would honestly say that I recommend this book to everybody. Like, I think everyone should read it and could get something out of it. It's just such a fantastic story and such an important one, and I can't wait to see what this author does next. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have read this book and what you thought of it, or if you plan to be picking it up. I will see you soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!